Now for day two of the trading course, we're going to talk about market structure shift. And remember on day one, we talked about candlesticks. Well, we also have to use that in this video. So remember go to go check out the first one. Now down here, I've just made a drawing example to make it a bit more easier to understand. Right here, we can see that price is trending down. So let's just say this is candlesticks, right? Price is making highs, lows, highs, lows, highs, lows. This is a downtrend, as we call it, because price is making lower highs and lower lows, right? And then price at a point is going to make a higher high, breaking that downtrend. And when price makes a close above the high with a body, as we talked about in the last video, with a candlestick body, then that creates a market structure shift. When we have that market structure shift above the high, where we have the candle close above it, we want to see price really making a lot of displacement above the high. And displacement is basically price making a large candle close above the high. So right up here, we can see that price do not make a lot of displacement above this high. It just wicks above it and then closes within the range. But down here, we can see we have a market structure shift. As we have that downtrend, as we see, making lower lows and lower highs, then price suddenly makes a close above the high. And we see we get a large candle that closes above it, creating that market structure shift. And here we can see that we get a lot of displacement above the high. Now that we have gotten that quick and large move above the high, creating displacement, that indicates price is now more willing to respect this market structure shift, meaning that price is more willingly to make a new trend. And we do see that price now starts to make higher highs and higher lows, indicating that price is now finished with this downtrend and is now going in an uptrend. Now a bearish example of a market structure shift, we can see right here that price is currently in a uptrend, creating high highs and high lows, as we can see. Then price reaches a level where it reverses, and we are going to talk about that further within the trading course. <clears throat> and then price makes a lot of displacement as we see this huge down close candle closes right here closes below this low creating that market structure shift we were looking for and now that the trend is bearish because price have just broken this low we could be anticipating price to move lower and we see price did indeed move lower after creating this market structure shift. Something that we have to be really careful about when looking at these market structure shifts is that price is not sweeping liquidity. And we will talk about that for the next trading course video. Now here we can see price do not make a lot of displacement, meaning we don't see a large energetic candle closing above this high, as we talked about before. And price just wicks above it and we see we don't really get a large move above the high, and then price reverses from there. And you don't really know to know this right now, as we are going to talk about it later in the training course, but it's just something that you have to be aware of. Now an example of where we do make market structure shift, we can see over here that price makes a close above this high, and we will consider this high market structure shift as this short-term high down here on the higher time frame, this wouldn't really look like a market structure shift, right? So this high we could consider as the final market structure shift. And we can see we get that energetic candle closing above the high, meaning we get displacement above the high, indicating a market structure shift. And what do we see after that? We see price just keeps going higher, right? Breaking this downtrend we have, making lower lows and lower highs. Now a bullish example of this we can see that price do not make a candle close below the slow. We get not a lot of displacement below it. Price do not want to close a candle close below the slow, indicating that price do not want to make a market structure shift, breaking this uptrend we have right here.
Instead, Price chose to make a love to space in about this high. We also see down here. And then continues the uptrend, right? So that's something we also have to be careful about on the bullish side, where price do not want to make a large displacement move below a low. Something that you have to be a bit careful about when training these market structure shifts or looking for these market structure shifts is that when price really makes or expands lower, meaning that price is making large down close candles to the downside, and then price reach an important level, which could be this sweep on liquidity, which we will talk about in the future. And then price now suddenly starts to move higher, right? So then we would consider this low being a market structure shift, but we see price also reach this important level and then starts to trade higher and makes not a lot of displacement beneath this low. So this may sound a bit complicated, but we will get into it in the next video. It's just something that you have to look out for. Something that we have to be careful about now that we know these market structure shift is they can be manipulated. And what I mean by that is price can create a market structure shift, but then also reach an important level that could lead to a reversal. And these important levels is something that we have not yet talked about. So you may get a little bit confused, but don't worry, we will talk about it later in the future. Now here we can see that price is currently trading within the downtrend, right? Making lower highs and lower lows. That is pretty simple as we talked about before. Then price suddenly creates this market structure shift. We do doesn't get a lot of displacement above the high, but we still do still get a close, right? But price also reached an important level, which is this fair value gap, which is an ICT concept we're going to talk about in this trading course. Then price makes a reversal from there. As we see, price moves lower, creating another market structure shift. As we see right here, we get that close. But then price also creates a SMT, which is another ICT concept we're going to talk about. And that SMT leads to a reversal. And then price finally at 10 a.m., which I think was pretty news driven, we get that market structure shift, which is valid. And this is a bit difficult to place a trade entry based on this. Another important factor about these market structure shifts is that when price is consolidating, meaning that price is trading within the same general range. So we see from this high down to this low, price is just trading within here. And when price creates a market structure shift within this range, it usually tends to get invalid or we don't really trade in that direction the market structure shift was made in. For example, right here we can see price created the market structure shift, but then again just traded higher. And over here we can see price again created a market structure shift up here, but then just traded lower. So when price is trading within the consolidation, we have to be careful about these market structure shift. Rather, instead of looking for a possible setup within this consolidation, wait for one of the ranges to be breached. And then from there, you could start looking for those market structure shifts. The reason behind this is because when price is consolidating, it is a bit hard to identify the trend, right? And when we can't really identify the trend, it is a bit hard to use these market structure shifts as we use market structure shifts to identify when price is shifting the trend. And when we don't really have a trend, it's a bit difficult to identify when price is going to shift that trend. Another important factor when looking for market structure shifts is that we sometimes have to include the high time frame. So right here on the five minute time frame, we can see that price created a market structure shift, right? Closing above this swing high with a decent amount of displacement. Then if we go up here into the 15 minute time frame, we can see that there aren't really any swing high. So this really just indicates the price is probably not that much willingly to move higher. As we can see, price just reverse up here and then now starts to move lower again. That was it for trading course day two. I really hope you enjoyed it and took some great notes about market structure shifts. You may have noticed that we talked also a little about fair value gaps and also buy side liquidity and sell side liquidity.
I've not decided yet, but we are going to talk about one of those two important factors in the next trading course video.